My mother passed on December the 12th and my father passed on February the 7th, the day after my 21st birthday. At this time, I was in college, but I had to leave school because, you know, I didn't have any way of supporting myself and um, going further at this time. After losing her parents early in life, Penny faced additional challenges, including suddenly having to care for her sister's children. Um, I had to cut my hours back because I couldn't do the double shifts. I couldn't, you know, keep up the hours and still maintain this function and role as a parent taking care of these babies. And so I cut my hours back and I, ultimately I lost my apartment and I moved into the shelter. Like Penny, many families in our community face challenges maintaining housing. However, Penny's life began to turn around when she was introduced to a Catholic Charities staff member. But some days she could look at me and she would know, you know, old Penny's not herself today. And, and she would grab my hand and she would pray with me and it was just beautiful. And that was, that was my first, like, it was like, it's like if you're deaf, it's not like you're born hearing, right? And then all of a sudden there's a tragic accident and you lose your hearing. And that's how I felt when my parents died. I felt like I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear God. But through Roberta, you know, I was able, I started hearing it. And I, st I started hearing whispers of love, whispers of faith, whispers of redemption. And it just, and she showed me that, you know, there is a way, there is hope. And they supported me in whatever I needed, whether it was food, you know, clothing, whatever it was, counseling, anything I needed from my family, I had that full support for a year. It truly was a support circle. It was like a support family. You know, you could like almost feel them hugging you, you know, and not just for a moment, but for a year, a whole year. And so it was wonderful. And I, I thank Catholic Charities for that, because I know there are so many other people that are deaf, that have lost that hearing, that can't hear it. And I think just being around the right people, those sounds come back. And let me tell you, it's a beautiful thing when you hear it again. It is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. You know, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful.